You really, your- what's going on <laughs> behind you, buddy? My what? My son's in bed. He's in <laughs> bed. No, this is my this is my crap I have on his bed. There's my <laughs> backpack and uh, move the towel. Or you want to organize that a little, just so the mizon scene looks a little better. <laughs> there is that better. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for window shop because it's been a long time. So here's Tony Caroga. Welcome to window shop with car and driver. The, well, I would say occasional, but it's now become <laughs> seasonal uh, show where car and driver editors, staffers, and contributors gather to shop for cars online based on a challenge. This week's challenge is to find the most significant car of the 1980s. And I set the budget at $100,000. We finally are able to get everyone's schedule aligned, which has been the major problem of scheduling this show. Um, and we're joined by Road and Track Senior Editor, Mr. John Perley Huffman, who's joining us from Santa Barbara. Senior Editor, Alana Schur, who's joining us from Southern California. The wonderfully dressed Mr. Jonathan Ramsey, who's also Car and Driver's favorite contributor. And executive editor, Mr. KC Colwell. Um, as usual, we didn't talk about order. Oh, wait a minute. I also think can we get the can we get the wording of the challenge down properly? Because I don't remember the word. I feel like the word was awesome, not significant. It was both significant and awesome. Okay, uh, I, I'll okay. read I'll read the challenge. Find the best car of the 1980s. Oh, wait. That's what I went with. Yes. Okay, wait. <laughs> Find the best car of the 1980s. How do you define best? There we go. Okay, that's all I need. Significant, significant, need, and awesome. I just need the freedom and of best. Awesome. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's so, what I need. <clears throat> budget hundred thousand, and then I said any questions, and nobody asked me any questions. <laughs> well, <laughs> Tony, that's because nobody read the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I read far enough to know what I wanted to pick. Yeah, they just read all. to best. They're just like best. Yeah, and eighty. All right, because well, you can't because you can't buy it. anything. Okay. You can't buy any of the best cars for less than a hundred grand. So I disagree. I disagree. I found a great one. Oh, here we go. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right, Pearly, why don't you kick it off? Okay, here I go. I'm going to start off here. I'm going to start off with the most significant car of the 1980s, which is the 1980 Ford 19. Well, I think they ran the 2001, the uh, the Jeep Cherokee, which uh, the XJ, which of course is a a classic of sorts and started. Wait a minute. Oh, but Pearly, you had a hundred grand to spend. Why this one? Significant. This is, by far, this is by far the most. Significant. No, not this car. Why this example of this one? Because this is the one I could find. Can I share for a second? I feel like it's important that I do. Play Go for it, Casey. Do. Yeah, a hundred. The the only chair you found with a had one hundred six thousand miles on it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly. Well, why do I, why do you think I have one right here? Because. <laughs> It's a Cherokee. Yeah. What are you going to do? All right. I'll go to plan B. <laughs> I can defend for you if you'd like. Casey, yeah, you you're going to get his vote. You can blame Tony for this because um, I happen to know from being here early that Pearlie's initial choice was worse. And then Tony's <laughs> like, you should get, you should pick something better. And then um, he found it about five minutes before you came on. Well, I, was there. What, I didn't think this was, you know, if you go for significance, it's hard to top the Cherokee. It's the first unibody SUV. It's a, I don't know if it's the first, but it's yeah, true. I mean, it's it's significant, definitely. But but I can't believe that with a hundred grand, you couldn't find like a, a resto modded example. Well, these are these, these are pretty cars, awesome, these, these Jonathan. Are cars, yeah, that are, pretty nice, Jonathan. You I, love I, AMC's. What are you talking about? Um, uh, I, did, I, I did think the money part of this challenge was interesting, though, because in my own searching, and maybe it was just the cars that I was looking for, it was like everything that I looked up for this challenge was either like. 20 grand yeah. or like 175 exactly yeah. exactly i think yeah. i think i think the rear tire the the spare tire on this thing is the original tire so it looks those, very original that's that very great. cool michelin yeah. x tire uh but these are you know this car is this is good you know these are these weren't cars that were cherished and put away in museums these are cars that were used now which engine is in this this is a, this is the dmc because they didn't put in the uh the 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 three point what was it? What was it? 4.2 liter before they went to the four liter. The four liter is the better engine, but this is so this four- is the four two. So it has like 120 horsepower. Oh, are you sure it's not a 2.8 liter V6? It might be. Oh, so, I'm sorry. This was a 2.8 oh, liter. The GM engine. Is <laughs> yeah. that the GM engine? Yeah. 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 GM engine. I mean, this yeah. is. Yeah. 
I mean, it's like, yeah, it's like the, the worst part about this car, but it's a, it's there are not many uh, Cherokees out there that are clean like this. Yeah, and the, the the better ones came out later in the '90s when they moved over to the four liter AMC six. And uh, but this is still, you know, it's it's if you go for significance, it's hard to top this car. I mean, every almost all the new vehicles today look somewhat like this car. This is the one that set that reset the market. So, I <laughs> there you go. I'm done. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. I lose. Bye. So, Pur- <laughs> Pearly, what had you chosen? Go do your particular car. What what had you chosen? What ha- well, I'd also chosen a Ferrari three hundred eight, which is another car I love. And uh, why was that? Why was that voted down? Uh, because uh, it was well. This was, I, it's not like I hadn't looked for a Cherokee. I just didn't think that there were all the Cherokees that were all that nice. I was hoping to find like some primo survivor estate sale Cherokee. There just weren't any. And wait, 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 but why did you walk, why did you walk away from the three hundred eight? Because Tony uh, gave me peer pressure, and I succumbed to it. <laughs> Oh, I should have been here earlier to protect you. The 308 is really a 1970s car, right? I know. That's no, 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 no. Oh, oh, yes. oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. That was my, I, I looked at 308s, too, and I, I thought the same thing. Pearly, yeah. go back to the dashboard shot with the steering wheel. Yeah. There was <laughs> do you, a, see, there was do you a, see a bolt out of place, Tony? No, there was a version of this that didn't have the little bit of wrapping on the metal part of the steering wheel. So you had, like, Ginsu knife. Like, yeah. steering oh, wheel right. Yeah. And but those seats are, are out of those seats are out of a Renault too. There were Renault Renaults. Alliance. Yeah. And, and the seats have a crazy, they have a crazy recline to them where yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh my friend who Tony knows, Gabe, had one like that. And uh yeah, the seats were crazy. Yeah. What, how do they recline? The, the whole sort of like seat. swivel? Yeah, it's like uh it's like, oh, a, like a rocking, rocking mechanism chair. Yeah, okay, rocking. like an office yeah. chair. Really, if you go to the shot of the seat from the side, you can sort of see it. No, the other one, that one. Yeah, you see, you see the little. Yeah. Oh, there. nice. Yeah. <laughs> so you pull that, and it's sort of like rock. It's it was really cool. They're really comfortable seats. But I mean, well, you're always in that same position, just canted. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's yeah. like uh, I don't know what it's like. It's like it's, <laughs> it's, exactly. a, fixed, it's a fixed back angle, but you can rock the seats back. Exactly. Your butt was, it's, it, you know. Look, the the thing is, is that, you know, these are, there's this huge cult following for XJs now, uh, mostly for the 1990s versions, but this car changed everything. This one's super clean. Yeah. It sort of laid the template for the future. Yeah. So you can't, I can't, I mean, if you go find significance, this is it. This car changed their, I mean, you know, a lot of people give it to the Explorer to the same, which also sold better, but, but you this know, is it, earlier and that's body cool. on frame, which was a dead end. Yeah. Well, well, sort of a dead end, not necessarily. Yeah. It's not where we set the market. This one. Look at the, the 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 carpet on the back of the seats is really what says luxury too. <laughs> is is that what says luxury? I think so. Yeah, it is funny though when you like the that kind of above angle where you can see the whole exterior. Um, you, I could imagine somebody bringing out a concept car. Um, at one of the car shows right now, like an electric concept boxy SUV that looked almost the same as that, like today. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. And you know, it would Jeep look does, great. You know, Jeep, Jeep, does, Jeep does all these concepts every year where they take old Jeeps and update them. And they haven't done an XJ as far as I know. They've done gladiators and. Uh, and They've never done it. Are you talking about Easter Jeep Safari? Yeah, I've never seen do an XJ. Have they ever done an XJ? Huh. I, I feel like they must have, but I don't. But now that you mention it, I don't recall seeing one. Yeah. So, so these things were tiny too. This thing yeah. is 165 inches long. I, I looked it up. <laughs> Everything was tiny actually so, in the 80s, including that's the people. like an HRV, a Honda HRV is 179.8 inches. And this thing is 165 <laughs> inches long. This yes. thing is like tiny. And we liked it. <laughs> and we They're loved very it. It's little. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just drove to lunch yesterday uh to meet a friend who who was driving a Cherokee, and I drove the Ram Charger. And the Ram Charger is huge. <laughs> like, it's so much bigger. <laughs> yeah. I love these wheels. They're like the wheels that were on the Dukes of Hazard car. There's a specific name for those wheels because they're also used kind of like brand nationals. Shut up. They're like Ravel. Aren't they like Ravel? <laughs> what was the aftermarket company that made those? <laughs> God, they're vectors. They're called vectors. And they were. Uh... God, now I have to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop sharing so I can go find who made the vector wheel. <laughs> okay, who wants to go next? Alana? I'll go next uh, okay. because otherwise my auction's going to expire. We can like watch it happen in real time. <laughs> what does your hat say, Alana? I love it. 
Edible cars? Terrible. <laughs> okay. American Racing, A-R-E Moon. Oh, American Racing Moon. Actually, in my in my presentation, I had a set of American Racing wheels and uh, tires for the Jeep, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See this little, this sweet totally. little basket here. So I just want to, Adrian, this is funny because I was taking someone to the airport this morning and uh, she, there was a, like a, two thousands or like late nineties golf convertible in front of us. And she's like, that is an ugly car. And I said, yeah, there was only one attractive golf convertible. And that was the eighties guy in white on white. And here we are. Oh my God. We are. And I started in two great movies. Two great movies. License to drive. It's in Ah, the zeitgeist. Yeah. Yeah. It was was huge. I was every sweet 16, like upper middle class, wealthy girl. Yeah. I was just um, on Facebook, which I'm a little embarrassed to admit, <laughs> but there was a group for first okay, gen, for Mark one for Mark one uh, VW Cabrios like this, and I I didn't join it, but I saw it. But you were tempted. Sorry, Alana, go ahead, please present. <laughs> I, I think we just marked the page. I, I think they <laughs> might have had one either in the movie or in the advertising for the Barbie movie, um, which of course they should. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. This so. is. The- this was every sorority girl car when I was going absolutely. To totally. And so, you know, I know that there's like, you're like, well, why didn't you pick like a GTI? Like why, you know, why didn't you go sporty? But I feel like the Cabriolet is important because at least in my memory, it was sort of the first girl's car, um, which, you know, is often used as an insult, but I think it was like, it was important. You know, it was like, Oh, this is a car that young women bought new you know, and uh, and got into car culture in a totally different way than maybe the dudes were doing it in the 80s. You know, they all, the dudes were all in their IROCs and the, the cool girls. I was not one, so I did not have one of these. Um, the cool girls were rolling around in a convertible rabbit. Um, well, you know, this is this, this was interesting. Look how much fun this person is having just taking the photos. They're everywhere. Like, I know. Like a it's whole like, road trip. This thing is all over town. Too. I think that, did, the, did this car come out in 79 or 80? Uh, I mean, it was an 80 leg? model year. 80 model year. Uh, 80, the, 80, the 80 model year. The thing was interesting. This was like, when everybody was saying convertibles were over. You know, that they, they weren't. Pearly, like, when you sit so far back, I can't hear you. Okay, I think there. it's inner. What's going on, Pearly? You okay? My dog is here. Guys, come here. Dogs. Um, I've talked about this many times on the show, but uh, once again, one of my favorite things about all cars <laughs> is that you can tell what technology was a big deal at the time by what they decided to yeah. like write on the car itself. Yeah. Like but I mean, but BMW still puts an I after their numbers. Which I feel like <laughs> they probably just forgot nice. what it stands for. <laughs> I, like now, I know, I know that this car is not in perfect shape, but it is so <laughs> far below budget that I can repaint it, redo <laughs> well, the handles, whatever I need to do to make you it. You could put an you know. Ardmore's chassis underneath and get. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <I'm worse. laughs> um, Art Morrison, Morrison, excuse me. <laughs> Alana, is there a shot? Oh, I love those seats. Is there a shot of how the the trunk opens? Because it's no longer a hatchback. So it has like this like oh, slot, like the trunk geez. opens. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a manual look. too. Yeah. Well, the trailer is like, you know, it's like they do. It's like the opposite problem of like Facebook Marketplace. There are too many photos and there <laughs> it'll just be like, here's the car. From seventy different angles, but not. Well, they, but yeah, never the one there. Is, there's the opening. Oh, yeah, they, they've got it open. If you go to yeah. the yeah, it's right around there. That's all the shots. It had a tiny little trunk. Uh, there's mm. sort of your opening. Yeah, there yeah, it is. But, you know, th- let, me, I, let me say what I was going to say, which is that uh, remember this this card came out about when convertibles were supposedly going to be dead. They were never going to come back again. It replaced the, the uh, Beetle convertible, which was the last Beetle they were making. And uh, this is what led to things like. All the other convertibles that came afterwards, like the Chrysler K car convertibles and the Mustang, uh, the Mustang convertibles, all this. This is the first of the new wave of convertibles in the 1990s, 1980s, 1980s. Yeah. Um, and I thought the, yeah. the girl car where I grew up was like a purple Cavalier. But you did see these in different in other parts of uh, town <laughs> as girl this, cars. But this, 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 this thing just screams UFC co-ed. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, this was a this was a well-to-do girl's yeah. car. But, yeah. Um, Dad bought it for me. 
or not or you know they they you know they bought it well, should I admit now that i i rented one to go to prom really yep is that you and is that you in the photo jonathan um that's my brother <laughs> what 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 kind of tuxedo did you wear what color? I, I just wore a suit. See? I did not. There she is. That's it's her. lifestyle you could have. I assume yeah. you wore a tuxedo since you're wearing a suit to this show. <laughs> That's why I mean, but this is window shop. <laughs> like this. <laughs> there are standards. <laughs> anyway, yeah, what's up with the rocker right? panels on farmer, that car? <laughs> what's that, Casey? He's not a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, Tony, it does say that the brake... Uh, fluid was drained and flushed. Oh, I like that. Um, it didn't look great, but it, it they you know did it say. could be a stained reservoir. Yeah, a friend of my a friend of my mom's had one of Whoa. these when we were growing up. The green up. light, the green light. I mean, is was that originally? Different? Was it green originally? Yeah, yeah, it was oh. lit like that too. Yeah, all the VW ones, even through Mark II and Mark III, even Mark III even. Oh, because like we had a Jetta and it wasn't. It was white, not green. Really? But, yeah. Are you color This is a really good knob. Nice chunky. Yeah, three. I mean, those were, and if you if you turn that heat knob to the right, it was like being in a blast furnace. And if it if you hadn't turned it on in a while, the smell that would come out of it was amazing. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) It's it's sort of wheezing and then dust. (laughs) Video gauges. So yeah, do you you need to go back? Do you want to see those again? That's okay. So the shifter, it's a five speed, right? But then they they marked fifth as E as for economy. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. it's probably yeah probably over extra. i mean I'm, i yeah. think it's yeah. extra, extra, extra tony the and extra this also tone. between the tachometer and speedometer it had a little upshift light to tell you when to upshift for maximum economy if you go yeah. back huh. that's very modern yeah it very is modern if you go back a few it was in the shot of the right there see that little arrow that lights oh. up to tell you to upshift oh that's right that's great yeah i love like all the gauges that I suppose people back then knew <laughs> what they meant and then, how to I read them. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Cause I've, I've driven a, I've driven a GTI. Bar I've, driven and a cells. I've driven wow. Jason Camisa's Jason Camisa has one with a 16 valve and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a super, I mean, those first gen golf, uh, golf rabbits were super, super lightweight, even in convertible form. And his is yeah. like legit quick. Like it's a, does that, how does that rigidity car. hold up on your scale, Tony? It's not great. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not great. I love it. It's PR speak. It's suboptimal I, is what we're going to call that. I appreciate, I appreciate it's a non-zero the number. <laughs> the designers knew not to make this part white. Um, like I had a white, I had a white car that had a white. And it turned metal, brown. And it was so grubby. It was yeah. like. Oh, it's got those great vents windows too. the sail windows with the little lock. Oh, yeah. A friend of mine's mom had one of these and the car had like no power, but we were really young. And whenever she'd get angry or be in a rush, it felt like we were going like a million miles an hour. <laughs> the you see like a good, good wing window. And those steering wheels were enormous, yeah. even for the time, but enormous. But, you know, very, it's got buttons and stuff. I mean, it's, yeah. all right. it's very... Those are horn. Quality. That's horn. Those yeah. are all of it? All no, four. Yeah. The, the, yeah, buttons, the buttons are, are horn. Yeah. All horn. All horn. Four horn. <laughs> still, still the, 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 the original golf design is just, it's perfect. And, it's you know, the, the Beetle had that real bustle back with the, where the yeah. top went down. And so did this because the top didn't really go down into the car. They didn't have any place to put the, neither yeah. the Beetle had an engine back there, so it couldn't go in the well. And this has no, has no overhang. So it had to go someplace just yeah. stacked. My only yeah, thing the, about the, this car um, is that it doesn't have the golf ball. Oh, uh, because it wasn't a GTI. It's not a GTI. Yeah. I know, later, but I would, I would probably upgrade it. I think around 88, in 88, they put the GTI's engine or like the first gen GTI's engine into this. So it had like 93 horsepower. But these early ones are like in the 70s. Do you, do, Alana, do you have the budget to get a golf ball though? I do. I do. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you know, we have just, we can check back in in an hour um, before probably right <laughs> before the show. Exactly, ends. Because <laughs> this is an auction. So but uh, I think that I have enough money to do absolutely everything <laughs> that I want to do to improve this. Car. Twice. Yeah. You can do it all twice. And you have your vehicle papers. I love that. That's how that's labeled. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, one of these with a 16 valve engine, it would be a sweet car to have. Everybody. That's what Jason, that's what Jason yeah. has. It's terrific. This is also Jason drove. I just went to the uh, Lucid thing. And Jason was there was uh, with a 16 valve Scirocco, which is a really cool car too. Yeah. Those are yeah. cool. 
Mr. I, Ramsey. I, I, I want Casey to go next because I oh, want to okay. see. Casey, I you want to go next? Before I, you want yeah. me to go next? I was, well, I, I was also going to say the vanity plate for that should be all horn, no bite. <laughs> all what? Horn. <laughs> said but, it was the, it's, but the oh, sorority yeah. girl is the, that's where the bites come from. The, um, <laughs> All right. Since I had to call an audible, <laughs> my fault. Yeah, I, it was Tony's fault actually. Because you... yeah, I mean, I would have been, I would have been, I would have been dialed in, but I, I guess <laughs> you should have picked a three hundred eight just to make Tony mad. <laughs> so uh, one of the reasons I'm selecting uh, we're going to we're going to get to that, Alana. <laughs> one of the reasons I'm selecting this car is for its um, the preservationness of it. Mm. Um. So, uh, yeah, and I'm also going to pull a little bit of a loophole. Pretty sure it was built in 89. Oh, oh, what could it be? Judges? Oh, no. no. I don't know like about 413 miles. That's a great car. But 1990 doesn't count. We... I think depending on who you talk to, the 80s did not end until 91. Okay. That's what well, Curly was making uh, that case uh, earlier. Exactly. Yeah, was, and he got shot down. Case. I was going to make this case for the ZR1. Yeah. I was going to make this case for a lot for uh, things too, but he, everything got shot down. But, but 1990, I mean, was, 1990 was an important year for cars. Not only did this come huge. out. Huge. This, this was a car that was definitely developed and, and, and engineered in the 80s. Right. <laughs> Without a doubt, it probably was built in the 80s as well. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. We it's are opening up loopholes. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit. It's a brand new car, Casey. It's a cool car. For sure, 17 grand? Like, <laughs> it's, a new, it's a new Miata. Yeah. That's really cool. They're restoring. Is that really 415 miles? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Holy cow. It's, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, come down. So somehow two owners, I don't know how <laughs> two owners. Nobody drove it. <laughs> Nobody drove it, but it's, um, yeah, Can time the, 400 the miles. Previous, the two previous owners, no offense to you guys if you're watching, which I'm sure you are. Are you just <laughs> no fun at all? Like, seriously, how? How do you well, have I I suspect another that, one. This sounds like a, this sounds like a, like dad bought it and then gave it to his son who just never kept it as a mentor to dad and now is getting rid of it like that's what for so son bought it for dad like some, and like yeah. drove it there, there are there are people who buy cars and put them immediately into storage on the idea that they need oh uh, brake fluid yeah. looks good casey Those people are no <laughs> fun I'm, it's got a hard top i mean like i'm half tempted to, to just go buy this thing and then flip it on bring a trailer but that's cool i, I buy it i, buy it I think you can make a little money on bring a trailer i mean it's so low miles yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, especially I mean, if somebody new. promotes it. <laughs> so it's, still got, it's still got the plastic on the floor, too. So there is a Facebook uh, group that is about low mileage cars. <laughs> but you didn't join? You just I didn't you, join it. No, okay. I didn't join. I'm not a big joiner. <laughs> you just you, lurker. You're, you're a lurker? Is that, just, that what you do? <laughs> where is um, one one eight? Where is that zip code? Where is this in? Uh, Milford. Was it Milford, well, Connecticut? I, that me. Oh, uh, Milford, Ohio. It's in Milford, yeah, Casey, Ohio. Not, Casey, not, Casey that, that, is, that is 35 minutes from me if you want me to go check it out. Go check really? it out. Yep, 35 minutes stops. Jonathan, you know, remember when Pearly went and test drove one of the cars? <laughs> and I, are you kidding me? I saved the video. I have that, uh, I have that on my hard drive. <laughs> I pull it up often. <laughs> Yeah, this is, yeah, anyway, that's it. Yeah. Um, you know, whether or not you want to, I'm going to, as when, I, when we, uh, here, I'll stop sharing because, um, and also the other thing is like, there's not a lot of like really iconic, as, as, as Alana pointed out, like, it's like they're either like not much money or they're a ton of money. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. That was and the problem. Even all the ones that are kind of like Countach, 70s car, you know, yeah. 911s from the 80s, all G bodies, all old. Yep. You know, um, well, I was thinking about super. I, 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 <laughs> I was thinking about trying to find a super, but we done, I had done a low mileage for. Uh, oh super. yeah, yeah, and they're not that. I mean, I, I think I like the three twenty five, but I couldn't find a good example because I think that was also hugely significant. I, uh, saw, for, I saw a couple of M threes. I thought about doing, but I was like, God, they God. were, but were they, were they 89 or ninety nine or ninety? Yeah, eighty seven, eighty eight, eighty seven. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Um, it was also interesting when I was looking at cars and thinking about it is like how many 
cars, you know, it's like you're really bumping up against cliche very quickly, right? Like, like, yes, it's an iconic car, but is it a good car? Probably not. Um, yeah. Well, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, we've, we've re, um, embraced the eighties because of nostalgia and because it's so much fun, but the cars aren't great. Wait, have we here embraced them or are you mean there are Everyone, people embracing them? As, as a community, you know, um, we were. I think we. I think we've okay. embraced like seven cars from the eighties. <laughs> well, exactly, and so it's rest. like, all right, do we all want to like, you know, we all going to show up with, you know? I'm right, looking for C4 Corvettes. Jr. Like, oh, C4 Corvette. But, okay, go um, ahead. so we keep the show moving, Pearly. Sorry, but <laughs> let's just go on. Let's next, 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 next. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so John, I went. Um, Pearly, get this. off the phone. Put that down. I'm not on the phone. I'm playing with my little tripod. Oh, okay. There were lots of challenges. All the challenges we've discussed made this very difficult for me. So I was going to choose. I was going to choose this one. Um, an '86 328 for eighty-nine grand. But when I realized that, I was like, okay, there's no way I'm going to uh, going to win. I had to go. To Europe and choose this one, the '86 European 328 GTB, because because it's more expensive. You just want to use all the budget. <laughs> well, I, well, I did enjoy that part, but this is—I think this is also iconic. I mean, a red Ferrari with a tan interior. We got Americans were into the GTS, which was the uh, the Targa, effectively, but and the GTB is the coupe. What's wrong with it? Because I got, thought 328s were quite a bit pricier than this. Well, you can like you can find the occasional example. I will a couple of things. You can find the occasional example in America that is just under like ninety nine five. Like I found five of them that are like ninety nine five or ninety six. But in general, also cars like this are quite a bit cheaper in Europe. Um, nine nine three Porsches, twenty percent cheaper. Really? Uh, yeah, because um, I've, I've been looking for one. And Such a great looks- angle. It looks great. It looks great without the louvers over the back window, like the GTO had. Yeah. Oh, and the the European bumpers are so much slimmer than the U.S. bumpers. Yep. So why? What's significant about this aside from it's a beautiful car? Well, it was really no. See, I told you I wasn't going for significant. <laughs> I was going for best and awesome, and that's what uh, that's what this is. It's the best of the three twenty eight line. Awesome uh, Magnum PI and uh, part probably I mean the 308 might get that nod, but like one of the last analog, like purely analog Ferraris. And I was never into this car in the 80s, but like I think talked about before with the I've gotten into the original. Um, come on, Lamborghini. What was it, Kuntak? And now I've got I'm getting more and more into these as well. So yeah, this one's in the Netherlands and it's mint and it's perfectly priced. I mean, not much horsepower, like two like two seventy horsepower, two thirty torque, something like that. Yeah, I think they're like two sixty eight, something like that, two sixty four, somewhere in there. Um, so the the earlier versions of this, uh the three oh eight without quattro valve. Yeah, they were very very slow. And current yeah. driver tested a Mondial that did sixty in like nine seconds, and apparently that was the reason that Ferrari went to quattro valve to the sixteen valve heads to the thirty two valves on the V eight oh, right. because they actually needed power because it was so embarrassing. The Mondial was so embarrassingly slow without it. If you you can find lots of Mondials for not much money because <laughs> nobody wants those. But yeah. I'm all so this is why Pearly, I think you should have stuck to your guns. But next time I'll come on earlier and back you up. So Thank my you. friend, Thank my friend know. who's my friend whose mom had one of the cabrios, his father had a 308 and then a 328. <laughs> so <laughs> they had two of the cars and they had a Jeep. She bought it. She bought a Jeep Cherokee too. <laughs> they were just like living, living the <laughs> 80s dream. Exactly. Checking yeah. all the boxes. <laughs> they had all the best cars of the 80s. <laughs> Um, all right, you guys ready to see the winner? <laughs> uh, is this the yeah, right thing? Fresh or hang on, hang on. I gotta prepare here. Here we go. Can you guys see that? Oh yeah, see, I looked at these, but that are they... yeah, it's a great car. Significant, also pretty amazing car for the era. 
Was it amazing? Uh, I mean, come on. Was, Significant, yeah. I'll give you. Was it amazing? Yeah. All yes. Drive, uh, yes, very, this car was a this car Not, No, 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 no. This particular, I mean, the Audi sport cars, like the short wheelbase, that, those were amazing. This, no. Jonathan, not this amazing. Was still amazing. This was an oh. amazing car. So, Tony, 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 I got to out you here because you made Jonathan's argument to me once about uh, uh, an Audi Quattro. Which is? Yeah, yeah, it's not a sport Quattro. Oh well, uh, yeah. uh, within He's the budget. No, Jonathan no, no. also, Jonathan also didn't pick up F forty because it's not in the budget. Oh, no, 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 but it doesn't matter. See, that doesn't matter. You can't just say it's awesome because it's in the budget. In the context, in the context of nineteen nineties, you have to remember nothing was 80s, like eighties. Pearly eighties. I'm sorry, the nineteen eighties. Nothing was like this. It was all wheel drive. Pearly, I was there. <laughs> you know, so I was know. I. So it's all wheel drive. Turbocharged. <laughs> Are you, are you kidding me? I just, I just, I got back from Vietnam whereas, ten years earlier. Whereas Pearly, Pearly already had children. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had tenure. Pearly did not. Pearly did not have children in the, in the eighties. <laughs> All wheel drive, turbocharged engine, fuel injected, intercooled. Look, uh, I'm not. Uh, basically, basically, I, it's interesting. Every, every it interesting. today, every German car today is this car. Yep. That's exactly right. Uh, digital display. This one's got a digital no, display. No, and that's not true though. That's not but, true. I think, the, car, I think the, that I think I think the 325i was more important than this car. I want you to look at that yeah, headliner Michelle and appreciate it. And this Michelle Mouton drove one of these, and you know, Michelle Mouton is the baddest ass chick who's ever lived. Have you seen <laughs> a headliner like this ever? I mean, look, it's cool. It, well, it's wait, it's in Europe. That's yes. not like you, Tony. Well, there aren't a lot in the states, and the, the, the bonus, <laughs> the bonus, oh, the bonus, God. the your car was in Europe. The bonus, you, I wanna, but that's version. what I do. You're always one who's like, it's in Europe. No, no, no. I can't vote for it. It's in Europe. No, no. <laughs> no, I never, I never said Tony, that. Tony, can you buy this one and I'll buy the rabbit? I will. And we can, like, cruise together with our white wheels <laughs> our and white. our like all white cars. I have a research team right now going through every window shop for every instance of Tony <laughs> saying it's in Europe. <laughs> I so can't the, vote for that. The European version is nice because you get an extra, I think, 37 horsepower. Yeah, so the, they were always better horsepower in the 80s. 197 horsepower to the U.S. is 160. And, and also, they made this great sound with the five cylinder engine here's the road oh, hey. test it's also in the netherlands with my ferrari yeah you guys could go together <laughs> we could just like in the 80s <laughs> yeah you go with eight. me look at how much it cost this was like a this was an unimaginably expensive car yeah. to me when i was a child at over thirty five thousand dollars yeah what was a 911 then i mean it, been... it was less it was like 33 yeah, yeah. in this like, year in 83 yeah year, like 83. a 928 would have been like that 928s were like over 40, which was just insane. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. 928s were the most expensive Porsche then. So yeah, 7, 8 to 60. Guys, did any of you guys consider like a 944 or a 928? Wait, wait, wait. Go back to the break. Go back to the performance real quick. Yeah, they did it with locked and unlocked differentials, Casey. Yeah, that's what I'm... Uh... Which, which Chubba sort of explains here. Yeah. It, it took Chubba and Sherman to explain this. Well, it's a very <laughs> complicated car. <laughs> Well, okay, and that part the Germans have kept up with. I'll give you that. <laughs> look at this. This is a great looking car. Boxed flares, these beautiful deep dish wheels. Look, no one, no one's denying that. It's the part it, where it you're has like the it's beauty, awesome. it has the beauty of a Ferrari 308. It has the all-wheel drive. <laughs> no, no, also, no, it doesn't share no. It has the, the monochromatic show. paint style of Alana's car. And <laughs> uh, it has the fun to drive of Casey's Miata. <laughs> All I gotta say, car. I gotta say, that the, you know, the thing is, is that this car was world champion before the Sport Quattro got there. Before they yes, cut the that's true. Thank you, Pearly. I think I might yeah, have. But the well, it. actually, the well, the Sport Quattro. I think he had only won like one the first one race. Um, but uh, Audi, 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 the Audi was the world champion in eighty four. Eighty three was the last year for a two wheel drive car to win. That was when the Lancia came through. Yeah, but I thought I thought Audi won the year before that as well. I thought Audi won in eighty two. They didn't. So this is what the digital display would look like, basically. Oh, pretty, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> and now, now cars, now every car has. has I just, I, like I, I had blocked out the the lobbyist Tony turns into <laughs> selling his piles <laughs> when he's when he's excited and wants to win. All right, um, now oh we've gone to the part. I just saw there was <laughs> there was blood in the water. So. <laughs> Uh, now we've come to the part of the show where we judge each other's picks and crown a winner. Uh, Mr. Huffman went first with the Cherokee. I definitely give you a thumbs up. 
That's a great choice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And what, what is your pick? What do you think is the most significant car? I hate it. I hate saying it, but it's pretty obvious. Oh it's my God. Audi. It's the Audi. Oh. <laughs> All right. Alana sure went next with the VW Cabrio. Hardy thumbs oh, up. Man. Great car. Uh, what are you picking Alana? Um, I'm also picking the Audi. Oh, <laughs> And it's funny because I that was the car I'd gone for first, and they have what well, they have a short wheelbase on sale in in at McLaren Chicago, uh, and it said call for price, and yeah, it was nowhere near budget, and I just wasn't interested in called? anything else. You called? I did call. How much? <laughs> just, How much just to see, because I was like, maybe, oh, maybe I mean, would be like, how oh, awesome would it have been if he had a call in on one of these? <laughs> I'd be like, look, I got a doubter with me. Could you could you repeat that for me I, on the air? <laughs> so I, I, I think for, this is, uh, I, two two twenty. No, they're like five hundred, aren't they? Oh yeah, no, he yeah he wanted seven seventy. Whoa! <laughs> so, oh. I mean, that, that might have been think, just what he was asking, but yeah, that's. I think this explains the suit. Is you were filing for a loan, weren't you? That's why. You're <laughs> that's, that's, well, I was going to transfer uh, things from Switzerland, and you got to. <laughs> Yeah, look the part. You got to dress up for the Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I speak to Gunter, <laughs> um, Alana. What? Oh, Alana already. Uh, yeah. Uh, jo- uh, Casey no, Casey. Car. Sideways. Love the car. I know it was developed in the '80s, but not really an '80s car. Yeah. Oh. I, yeah. I feel like it has to have eight in the in the. Yeah. Model. I'm sorry he took your XJ, Casey. What's your What's your uh, favorite XJ? So. Um, I'm, I'm honestly, it's, uh, it's just because Heather Graham wheeled one and, uh, licensed to drive. It's the, it's the cabrio. Boom. I love it. <laughs> I love um, it. That's <laughs> not checkers, Ramsey. <laughs> but no, I really did. I really did go with the, I, I really, I really do like the, the cabrio. Heather <laughs> Graham, awesome. Heather yeah, Graham. Graham. But then I saw the cabrio and Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jonathan with the 308, great choice. 328. 328, 328 excuse me, 328, yeah. 3.2 liter. Thank you. Pearly gives it a thumbs up. Look, Pearly, what's that thumbs up that just came up with you? Put your thumb back up. What's going on with that pointer finger? Oh. Yeah, what What was that? Oh, fuck it. Who cares? Let's go. <laughs> Pinky out, you know? <laughs> I can't California, believe Pearly's the one that Santa wants Barbara, to end bro. The show. For the first time in window shop history, Pearly wants to end the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, well, actually, um, uh, so uh, I am uh, torn. I can between, help you. Um, between a Cherokee and a rabbit convertible. Oh, man. Oh, um, man. Oh. I mean, but it's true. <laughs> it's true. Look, I brought the integrity of window shop. I, I've been dressed. <laughs> did you? Uh, did Mr. You? Integrity. Of course. Of course. <laughs> a lot of politicians wear suits. I mean, no, my, I, I have to speak from my heart. You know this about me. <laughs> so um, uh, I like you the, I, I think the chair. Audi Quattro. No, no. If, if it were a sport quattro, hands down, all you. <laughs> um, I think the the Cherokee is vital, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the the rabbit convertible as well. This is a tie. Time. This is a tie. And Tony um, can't go for himself. Man. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm coasting on the fact that you guys all wanted to date someone who drove a rabbit back in the back in the eighties. <laughs> can we cut that out, Carlos? Please. I, I, I was married <laughs> with Heather Graham for what? three years. All right. Uh, 19. <laughs> what year was my car? 84 Audi Quattro. I mean, I'm going to give it a, the car a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Right. I mean, I'm giving it two because I, it's something I would have picked. But Tony, if you vote for the rabbit, you, you, you deny yourself a share of the victory. I'm not voting for the rabbit. I'm voting. He, he, for... he wouldn't have a share of the victory. He'd lose three to two. I think Pearlie's. Pearly's win. <laughs> That's Pearly's Tony. <laughs> right no, there. I, I, That's Tony. <laughs> this, this, way, this way he ties. This way he ties. Exactly. <laughs> Tony, you're, you're only picking the Cherokee because it's really your choice. <laughs> I, I love the Cherokee. I thought the Cherokee was super significant. It's the blueprint of, of SUVs today. And the and the Audi yeah, is a lot of things. Of blueprint of performance cars today. No, it isn't. Yes, no. it is. How is it not? It's not five cylinders. It's the only thing that makes a difference. That's it. it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Uh, I, I mean, but I don't think. But they, they, but they don't. What What has brought the market to here is not traced back to the Sport Quattro. 
the, the performance car market is not traced back to the Sword Quattro. Yes, what it do does. You mean? All wheels, all, to, 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 Hold on. But Jordan, I, need, I, need to, I, need to, I need to think about it because I have reasons drives, that are it. great. So Cherokee predates it. <laughs> What's that, Casey? Nothing. I'm just because uh, I mean, well, the Cherokee all predates it. As a performance thing is obnoxious to me. The, the, the first <laughs> practical all wheel drive system. You know, all wheel, that, all wheel, which it is absurd. It's um, not. It's it's the blueprint of performance cars today. It's really expensive. All wheel drive, turbo <laughs> engine, looks great. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. if you watch this long, thank you. We've missed <laughs> doing these. We hope to do more of them soon if we can get all get us back together at the same time. And please let us know what you who you think is the winner and what cars we missed <laughs> and that you would have picked. Did I detect and, a little tone when you said that? Uh, <laughs> did, I, did I detect tone when you bit. said that? A little bit. Tell, tell us what the people who you wanted to date in the 80s drove. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm assuming yes. it's just rabbits and IROCs. Rabbits and, and, IROCs. and please, please send us more challenges. Um, Cause well, no, the girl I get to them. The girl I wanted to date drove a Sentra. Um, was it the R or the SER? SER. Really? That's a good car. She drove yeah. a Sentra SER? Yeah. Cool. We, we never dated, but that's what she drove. Was her name Dan Pun? <laughs> Funny enough, no. What was it? Her nickname was Stoneface. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us. I'm sure Carlos already cut it at this point. But... <laughs> is that our new car, Charles? Yes, it is. What is it, Charles? It's a Volkswagen Cabriolet. What does Cabriolet mean, Charles? It means loosen up, Harriet. <laughs> <laughs>